let's talk about what black men can learn from the Jamel Hill situation. Last week, Jamel Hill, who was host of ESPN's Sports Center, tweeted some controversial takes about Donald Trump. Let's take a look. So Jamel tweeted that Donald Trump is a white supremacist and he is surrounded by white supremacists and white supremacists support him. Shocking. Now I'm really not sure how you can even take issue with what Jamel said because Richard Spencer, who is leader of the alt-right, has pointed out that the White House has never publicly denounced the alt-right and they never will. You know why? Because they want those votes. But of course her employer ESPN, which is owned by Disney, wanted to get out in front of those comments as quickly as possible and they threw her under the bus. Now all of that is really unsurprising to me. So we know that despite the fact that ESPN relies on black athletes and uses black cool to draw ratings, their most prized demographic is the white male viewer. So once that storm was already brewing, Sarah Huckabee Sanders came in with her hateful self and said that Jamel's comments were a quote, fireable offense. But then Jamel finally decided to break her silence. She tweeted a statement that said basically, I meant it, I don't take it back, but these words don't reflect ESPN's stance. Which is a good, you know, I'm keeping my job statement, A+. plus. Now the most compelling part of this situation is not that Jamel spoke up to state the obvious. I mean, you know, that's what black women do. The most compelling and instructive part of this whole saga is how her colleagues stepped up to defend her when the network tried to railroad her. According to some reporting from Think Progress, ESPN wanted to block Hill from appearing on her show on Wednesday night. But her co-host said, if she's not going on, I'm not going on. But that did not stop ESPN. They then went to two other black hosts to replace Michael and Jamel. And they said, we are not stepping into that. But then according to this story, ESPN decided that it just would not be worth it to replace the two black hosts with two white ones. So Jamel went on the air. Y'all, this is the real story. Black folks have so much to lose in white supremacy. We navigate our lives knowing that one wrong step could completely derail our futures. And it's, so heartening to see these people who I'm sure get that take a stand. And it's most remarkable to me that those efforts were led by her black male co-host. Michael Smith would have had lots of cover to say, that's her battle. Now he would have been disinvited from the cookout, but based on the leaked internal exchanges between ESPN employees, he would have had lots of support in taking that stance, but he didn't sell her out. That matters. Black men ask me all the time, what do you want from us? The implication of that question is that asking them to show up is just too much. But honestly, this is it. Put some skin in the game, sacrifice something, be brave and bold like black women have been without reciprocity for hundreds of years. All y'all who claim to idolize Muhammad Ali or Malcolm X need to show some courage when you have nothing to gain. And look, I know a lot of people are going to interpret this as bashing, it's not that. I'm saying that this is a great model for how we can show up to support and stand for black women when shit gets real. So shout out to Michael and Jamel.